Now let us go with the overlapping, redundant and rolling techniques. Overlapping, rolling, redundant group. So up to now we discussed about the pairs, quads and octets. Now let us go with the overlapping, rolling and redundant groups. First let us go with the overlapping group. Okay. So overlapping. The name it says that overlapping means one number of variable is overlapped with the another number of one. Okay. So consider the same uh, four variable K map and draw the four variable K map. So A bar B bar A bar B A B a B bar, C bar D bar, C bar D, C D, C D bar. Okay. So suppose we have a quad like this, octet like this, and number of one is also like this, ma. So actually, what is our aim? We need to simplify the Boolean expressions. Okay, and we need to reduce the number of variables from the expression. And first, always the first priority goes to octet only. Then the next priority goes to quad, and the last priority goes to pair. So here we had a octet. So first priority is octet. Okay. Then we have a extra number of one is there, and what we need to do that for that one, and by using overlapping technique, we we can pair this one with the this one. Okay, so means already this one belongs to the octet and the same one we need to consider with the pair also. That is called as a overlapping technique. Same one is used in the two sessions. Two sections. So now for that, what is the answer for this case? Write the octet answer. Octet answer is nothing but common element from here to here. That is A. Place and write the pair answer. Pair is nothing but a, this one no. From here to here common element is B and C D. This is the answer for the sum. Okay, that is called the overlapping technique. Then we will go with the rolling technique. In rolling technique, same consider the example like this. Suppose the number of ones are like this, ma. Here A bar B, A B, A B bar, C bar D bar, C bar D, C D, C D bar. Actually, if the number of ones are like this, basically what is your thought? You will think of pairs only, two pairs. But as we know, the pair will eliminate only one variable. But what is our priority? The first priority goes to octet, then the next priority goes to quad, and the next priority, last priority goes to pair. So here always you are looking for a pair only by seeing this sum. But here by using rolling technique we can make it as a quad. Why? Because quad can eliminate the two variables. Now we need to reduce the number of variables. That's why we are going with the quad by using rolling technique. Rolling means so like your uh, wedge roll and all. So the one end of the first end of the roll will be added to the second end. Okay. This is the one first one and this is the last one. This is this is actually K map. And whenever we are rolling, the two ends will be joined together. Now so these two will be joined together. Together, then we got a quad over there. So here, whenever we are writing the quad, just you go with the quad answer. Quad answer is nothing but y is equal to the common element from here to here is b, and from here to here the common element is d bar. Directly we need to write the quad answer instead of writing two pairs answer. Y is equal to b d bar is the answer. Suppose just you consider without this, we are going with the pair means how many variables we will get. First pair and second pair. First pair means the answer is B, C bar, D bar. 
plus what is the second pair answer we will get B C D okay common element from here to here is B C bar D bar common element is from here to here is B will get B C D bar so instead of doing this much we are directly we did and we got the quad answer okay so in this way uh, we can reduce the number of variables by using rolling techniques also and let us go with the redundant group redundant group redundant means some extra extra group that is extra number of ones are there we need to uh, we should not consider the number of ones which are presented extra okay so we have the k map like this let us go a bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar c bar d bar c bar d c d c d bar okay so let us have number of ones like this one one here it is one here it is one okay so basically we know we will get the number of pairs here that is the first pair second pair and this is also one third pair we need to consider actually and we are getting the answer as y is equal to what is the first pair answer this is b c bar d plus second pair answer is a c d and what is the third pair answer a b this pair a b this is d actually this is a final answer for this sum but as we know this to this pair how we make the pair we need to consider the one from this pair and we consider the one from this pair we can make a extra pair so instead of doing that we need to neglect the extra pair that is called as a redundant pair so we need we should not consider this pair ma simply how we need to consider is this is the k map na so instead of doing that just you neglect the pair which is belongs to two pairs so here this is 1 1 1 1 is there so what we are going to do is simply we are neglecting the pair one pair here so we are not considering this pair mark why because the one belongs to here and this one belongs to here so we should neglect that pair and finally we got only two pairs that we can write the answer for the two pairs and what is answer for this this is common element is b and c bar d plus we have this one a c d so this is the answer for this sub so this is called as a redundant group isn't it so we have overlapping technique rolling technique redundant group and in the last class we discussed about the pairs quads and octets and with the help of these six uh, topics we need we are going to solve the examples of the k maps so right so now we are going to solve the boolean expressions now so first of all we need to consider four variable expression so we have a expression like this y is equal to a b c bar d a b bar c bar d and a b bar c bar d bar and a bar b bar c bar d bar so one more we need to consider a bar b bar c d so let us have a solution of this sum so how many variables are there first we need to consider with the variables the number of variables are four so that's why we need to consider the four variable k map okay so solution for this sum is c
ए बार बी बार ए बार बी ए बी ए बी बार सी बार डी बार सी बार डी सी डी सी डी बार ओके सो वी ड्रॉ द के मैप नाउ so where we need to keep the ones mark so in the where the first one a b c bar d where is the a b c bar d a b is here c bar d here in this position we need to keep the one then a b bar c bar d a b bar c bar d this is the one next one is a b bar c bar d bar a b bar c bar d bar this is the one and then uh, we completed with the three ones three variables right three terms and the fourth one is all a bar b bar c bar d bar is there so here it is one a bar b bar c bar d bar and the rest of the thing is a bar b bar c d a bar b bar c d is nothing but a bar b bar is here c d is here we need to keep the one over there so now we are going to solve the expressions ma 0 0 replace remaining things with the zeros okay and see here we are getting one pair like this then we are getting one more pair like this okay that is the second pair and by using rolling technique we can make it as a pair ma here total we got the three pairs right now and this is simple thing we should ignore that we don't have any number of ones either in a horizontal manner or with vertical manner right so solving so what is the answer for this sum y is equal to what is the first pair this is the first pair na so here a b bar from here to here the common element is c bar plus here this is the second pair from here to here the common element is a c bar d plus this is a rolling technique no so here to here we need to consider the common element that is b bar c bar d bar plus the last one directly we need to consider a bar b bar C and this is the answer for the sum. Okay, so like this we have so many examples and this is a one format and let us go with the another format also and that is second sum I am going to explain you. Okay, so we have a one more example. Consider y is equal to sigma of m. Okay, zero one two three four five six seven eight. and this is a sum we need to solve this sum by using k map technique ma so same consider the four variable k map only here this is a four variable k map representation a bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar c bar d bar C bar D, C D, C D bar. Okay, so where we need to keep the number of ones here? So in actually here we need to consider the min terms, ma, min term values. So here M represents the min term, na, as we discussed in the last class, small m represents the min term, and this is M zero, M one, M two, M three, M four, M five, M six, M seven, and M eight positions we need to consider, ma. So sigma is nothing but a summation. Summation of all, all the min terms. So we need to keep the number of one is in the m zero position. Where is the m zero position? And let us first can I draw the m zero position? This is m zero position. This is m one position, m two position, m three position. Okay, m four. M five, M six, M seventh position. So this is M eighth position, ninth position, tenth, eleventh position. This is twelfth position, thirteen, 
14th and 15th position. These are the positions already we discussed in the last classes and according to the positions we need to give the one in the place of the min term. So where we need to keep the first number 0 place. 0 place means 1. Okay. Next one is can I rub this first? Okay. So I will draw one more diagram for this. Then only you need to understand it clearly. A bar, B bar, A bar, B, A, B, A, B bar, C bar, D bar, C bar, D, C, D, C, D bar. Okay. So, now in M0 position we need to keep 1, M1 position we need to keep 1, M2, M3, M4, M5, 6, 7. Eighth position is here, eighth. Okay, so remaining rest of the things we replace with the zeros. Okay, so like this first you need to draw the K map. After drawing the K map, you can solve the expression. So what we are going to get, what is the highest priority? We should consider the octet first. So octet means, so we should consider this as an octet. The eight number of ones are there. And that, that is the first one. And second one is we need to consider a pair by using rolling technique. Okay. So what is the final answer for this sum? Y is equal to, what is the octet answer? Total thing. What is the common element from here to here? A bar. Plus, by using rolling technique, we need to consider a pair. The pair is nothing but, so B bar, common element is B bar, C bar, D bar. This is the answer for pair. And the total answer for this sum is y is equal to a bar plus b bar c bar d bar. Okay. So, if you have any doubts and uh, we will go with the remaining uh, more sums also. We will calculate the more sums.